name is Nick Cherkus. Um, I'm the area manager for Oxford University Press in North Africa, but I'm based here in Morocco. I live in Casablanca and I've lived in Morocco for 11 years. Uh, that's my day job. Um, here at the festival, the Marrakesh English Book Festival, I'm part of the organising committee and I'm, uh, the, I'm managing the kind of the academic side of the programme, which means that I am um, organising the interviews with our authors. Um, I'm coordinating with our team of interviewers. So I'm doing some of the interviews, but we also have um, some young volunteers who are PhD candidates at Caddy Ayad University um, to run the interviews, because it's important that we get a balance of different voices as well, and that um, young Moroccan people are represented in the festival. Um, and I'm also organizing um, part of the program on Sunday which is going to be asking and hoping to answer questions around how the how we can increase the role of reading in English in Morocco so how can why is it that it's difficult to find English books in Morocco why is it that they're expensive um, why is it that young Moroccan writers find it difficult to get published and why is it that um, international publishing companies are not coming to Morocco to find out more about this. So that's going to be quite an interesting session. From an edge, it's such a huge area and we know that the role of English in Morocco is increasing. And now we've seen that there are significant steps taken by the government in order to make this happen. So we know that, for example, from next year, English is going to start to be taught in public schools from the first year of college rather than the last year of college. Um, there are now many degree programs in Moroccan universities which are taught entirely in English. And I, as I say, I've been in Morocco 11 years and that wasn't the case when I arrived in Morocco. Um, so there are steps being taken to increase the role of English in education. I spend a lot of time talking to schools and parents about how they can help their children to develop their English language skills. And my first answer is almost always buy them some books, mm. buy them some books, put them in their bedroom. Even if they can't read, they can look at they can they can look at the book, they can look at the pictures and they can enjoy holding a book in their hands and looking through it. We know that reading is so important for not just for language development, but also for the development of other skills, of uh, creative uh, creative skills, of critical thinking, of decision making, of imagination, problem solving, communication. Reading has so many benefits. So I always give that advice to parents, just go and buy your kids some books. But as I said, at the moment, that's difficult because the choice of English language books in Moroccan bookshops is quite limited. Um, so I think there's a role that book distributors have to pay, play, there's a role that publishers have to play, and there is also a role that the, the, um, the public has to play. We need to, you know, we need to show that we are interested in reading and that we want, to, we want more access to, to English books. Um, I think it's one, of those, it's one of those situations where a lot of small changes can make a big difference. So, um, then that could be the work of publishing companies who are um, exporting books to Morocco from outside, of them finding a way to make their books more accessible. Um, it could be a way of schools and teachers encouraging reading more amongst their children, and that will then kind of funnel down into the home as well and make reading more accessible and more part of people's everyday lives, I think. Um, you know, I, I, I go in a lot of in a lot of Moroccan schools and houses. You don't see a lot of books, and there are reasons for that. And some of those reasons are cultural. Some of those reasons are because, as we said, books are more difficult to get. Um, but um, certainly, that that exposure to reading from a young age is really, really beneficial to children in any language. And as Morocco pushes forward with 
the, it, with, with, with increasing the role of English and, and, and improving the way that English is taught and is used in the country, um, improving the prospects of young people to be able to read in English is going to be really, really vital for that to be successful. I feel that my, my areas that I, that I manage are Morocco, Algeria and Tunisia. So obviously in all of those countries, the role of English is improving and increasing in, in different ways. And there are government steps, especially in Morocco and Algeria, there are a lot of steps made by the government in order to, um, to, 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 to help that happen. Um, what I do find and that surprises me as well is that, though, so for example, last week I was in Tunisia in a bookshop in Tunisia and um, the range of English books available was far wider than what I see in bookshops in Morocco. And I'm not sure why that is, because I think that in terms of the logistics of getting books from outside of those countries into the countries and onto the shelves, the logistics are quite similar. Um, so it's just, it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, I don't think that the, I think the appetite for English is is is, is huge in all all the, the the North African countries, and I think that the um, desire to help people to access English is, is similar as well. Um, and I'm, one one of the things that may come out of this festival as well is finding ways that um, people in different sectors in those countries can learn from each other and can um, try to move forward together in the best way possible. I think that my message would be um, definitely get it. We've today here in the audience, there are um, a number of Moroccan writers who have published their own books. So they've written, their, they've researched and written their books and they've published them themselves. There's a network that they can tap into. Um, and there'll be many more people in their situation who aren't maybe aren't here today who don't know that that this is happening um so i would say to those young people definitely try to make contact any way you can with people in a similar situation to yourself and get your work out there people want to read people want to read it um if you have self-published a book and you take and you and you're able to print some copies yourself and take them to a bookshop you will sell them and you'll get a following and it may start small but then it will lead to something bigger. And I'd, so I'd say that make those networks, make those connections, um, find out what other people are doing and find out a way to get interested people reading your books.